Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Afternoons LA Light. Your $1,400 third stimulus check will be landing in your bank account by direct deposit or in your mailbox next week. This includes if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Rural Benefits. This includes if you use the Direct Express card. This includes people who are expecting direct deposit and are getting it by paper check. This includes you. And how do we know it? Because of the major updates that have happened over this weekend. And those updates I'm delivering to you right now as Afternoons LA gets underway. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you? The great news is that countless viewers of this channel, which has millions and millions of viewers and hundreds of thousands of social media followers, is major changes in the last 24 hours. It's currently about 2 o'clock on the West Coast on Sunday afternoon, and since Saturday midday, big changes have happened. These are the updates. That viewers who are expecting by a direct deposit of their $1,400 third stimulus check and have yet to see it appear are now getting new updates. Those updates are coming from two different locations. One, from IRS Track My Stimulus Check tool, and second, from their bank, including the Direct Express card. Let me tell you what's going on. First, the IRS Track Your Stimulus Check tool, which allegedly may lock you out if you check too often in a given day, has now updated itself for countless viewers of this channel. It has updated itself the following way. Previously, it had shown no information for viewers or March 17th as a delivery date, and now it shows information. And what is that information? Two types of things it's revealing. It's either saying delivery by direct deposit generally on the 24th, or it's saying paper check 24, excuse me, 26, 27, and sometimes 28. Now, here's what you need to know as I progress throughout this video. The way you know what's going on is what things are going on with everyone else. And across the, ba the land today, I've seen a lot of people say, but mine says nothing. Well, that's the way these databases work. It takes time for them to update all the things. But ultimately, for example, if you bank at Chase and you haven't got your stimulus check, well, guess what? One viewer just a few minutes ago said he got alerts that all the big Chase direct deposits are March 24th. Then I've had countless viewers get alerts from Direct Express Card that their stimulus check is not coming by Direct Express Card. It's coming in the mail. So you see that while you may not have information, that's why you're tuning into this channel to see what's happening with other people that bank at your bank. Now, let me go through all the details for you. If you were waiting for that stimulus check, did not appear, this is what's happening. It's now showing direct deposit for viewers on the 24th when they check their IRS stimulus check tool or showing paper check later next week. Next, when they check their bank, it's now going from no information to direct deposit next week, generally 24 or 25 or 26. And finally, for some viewers, they are getting, excuse me, for a lot of viewers, they are getting alerts from a Direct Express card like this one that the Direct Express deposit of their $14 stimulus check will be March 24th. Now, if you're one of the viewers who's ready to type in the comments, but I haven't gotten anything, guess what? This is likely what's going to happen to you. It's likely to show up in either the mailbox or in the account next week. So who's getting a direct deposit of stimulus check, which I haven't done this subject matter in a while. I'll be jumping in your live chat in the comments in a second, so get the comments ready. I'll be jumping in and interacting with you. These are people getting direct deposit of stimulus checks. People got the first one or the second one by direct deposit. People who have had that same bank account around, people who are not dependents, 
well, let me go over the people who are not getting stimulus checks. You are not physically getting a stimulus check if you are dependent on someone else's tax return, or you have a, a representative payee, or you filed a 2020 tax return to update your banking information, and it's it, 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 the, the, the tax return was filed too late. It was filed in late February. Finally, if you've moved mail addresses, that is a big concern if the mail doesn't get to you and the stimulus check is in the mail. Um, but let me go over the banks that have paid stimulus checks to viewers this channel. They are Citizens Bank. And these, this is an updated list. As more banks were added just today. Citizens Bank, PNG, Bancorp, Bank Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot, People's United Bank, U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One Bank. Also, Lake Michigan Credit Union and USAA. Meantime, also being paid is Union Bank, Metabank, Amex Bluebird, Navy Federal, BB&T, and Wood Forest, Bank America, Chase, Wells Fargo, Emerald Blue Card, Emerald Green Card from H&R Block, and the TurboTax card. Now, here's an example of how you should look at lists like that one. You heard me mention Green Dot on that list. Well, guess what? That Green Dot appeared on that list in the early part of St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. On Friday, Teresa got it on Green Dot. On Saturday, someone else got it on Green Dot. And today, someone said, "I show it shows it showed yesterday. I didn't check it yesterday from Green Dot. So you see the progression. I saw that progression also with H&R Block. Viewers got H&R Block the very first this last Monday, but some didn't. And then more H&R Block appeared on Wednesday. Also a bank chime. I had a lot of people get it the very first day the bill dropped. They got that, that got, excuse me, the first day that the, the, the payments went out. They got the chime. Others didn't. And then a lot for Bank Corp chime appeared on the 17th. This is what you want to know is and, and track is that if you hear your bank mentioned as paying out, don't worry, yours is coming. Yours is coming. Don't worry. This is the single best information of where and when your stimulus check is coming. Then, also, be on high alert because that stimulus check may be in the mailbox. And this is what, uh, this is sort of how hard it is sometimes to deliver the news. People sign up for direct deposit. They provide their information for direct deposit. Of course I'm getting by direct deposit. No, it may come in paper check. And I said that message last Thursday. I'm like, yeah, it might be coming paper check. Now we know it's a massive drop of paper checks that are happening next week. It is not a sporadic occurrence. So you may see it land by paper check. Finally, the hardest message I've had to deliver this today is for people who think that everything has a microcosm that is so specific to their circumstance that they never are the same scenario as someone else. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let me show you an example. I've had, for example, usually I just cover financial news. And then sometimes I cover stimulus news. Then sometimes I cover the stimulus check. Well, this weekend I've been covering the stimulus check arrival date. But then people are asking a lot about Direct Express, which is just one card. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll cover the one card also. I'll go even more narrow. So I cover the one card also. I even had viewers reach out to me with wonderful private messages telling me it's coming the 24th on by, by direct deposit. It's coming the 26th by mail. And then guess what I get? People saying, but what about if I'm in North Carolina? I'm different because I'm in North Carolina. No. <laughs> Don't always try to departmentalize your situation so specifically that it's so, because it's not. This is not how banks work. The same banks have the same banking policies across the country. And it may seem really weird for me to even say that because you may be that person who has a girlfriend who got her stimulus check on the 17th at the same bank you bank at and you don't have yours. And you may say, well, why does she have hers and I don't? Understand that banks all have the same policies across the board. The reason why some person has a stimulus check from the same bank before you do is because they have different processing times and a lot of different processing things they got to do. And so sometimes something takes longer for one person than another. It does not mean it's lost. It does not mean it's stolen. It does not mean it's not coming. The only thing it could mean is it's not going by direct deposit. 
it's going in the mail. So ultimately, if you use Direct Express, they're coming next week. We have a countless number of viewers that have gotten the alert that it's coming starting the 24th. And then we've had countless viewers on Direct Express that have gotten the alert from IRS that it ain't coming on the card. It's coming in the mail. Then I've had countless viewers from, for example, Chase that got the stimulus check on the 17th, but now others saying have heard alerts coming on the 24th next week. And these situations are not different across the board. Let me jump into some of your comments right now. What you're seeing across the board is that people are getting great stuff left and right. Um, Shirley, LA, you're the greatest. Thank you for all you do. You're awesome. Thank you, Shirley. But, you know, it's the viewers that help. It's the viewers that make this work. You, the viewers, make this work. This is how a viewer helps the situation. I used the example earlier today. When you go to a restaurant and you don't like the food, you usually go on Yelp and complain, their food was horrible. But if you love the food, you usually don't go on Yelp and say, that was the most wonderful food. I've been asking viewers all day long, send me messages, whatever alerts you're getting from your bank. Did you get an alert there's a deposit coming next week? Did you alert, get an alert from IRS that there's a deposit coming next week? That helps because that's the way we share information. Saying, I got nothing, never, nothing, nada, never got anything. <laughs> Good. That doesn't get us to forward. It doesn't move us forward. I got nothing. Never got anything. Not going to get anything. Uh, and I heard it's coming in 10 months. <laughs> well, it's not coming in 10 months. Uh, it might come in 10 minutes, but it's not coming in 10 months. <laughs> Let me see more of the comments. Uh, <laughs> Old English Bantams checked mine, North Carolina, were scheduled payment to be mailed on March 26th. There we go. There is that date. I told you that March 26th date for mail is reoccurring. March 26th, Old English Bantams. Thank you for your wonderful comment. Let me see some more of the comments. Uh, people on benefits, Joyce, people who are on benefits who are non-filers probably won't get their stimulus checks until March 31st. We are last. Joyce, you know you're totally incorrect. Um, I, I love you to, for tuning in, Joyce. God bless you for tuning in. And thank you for your comment, but you're so wrong. You're so wrong. Uh, SSI and SSDI can't pay last. You know what? SSI and SSDI viewers got paid the very first day the stimulus check dropped on that Friday. Do you know how many viewers who have not got a stimulus check who are not on SSI? So that, that equation does not work. Um, the, the, the thought that people who pay taxes get a stimulus check first, people on benefits get last, it's just its just false uh, urban legends. I appreciate your comment. Thank you for your comment. But please, it is just not true. And it's sort of rooted in this sort of anger against the government, st comments like that. It's just really untrue. Um, how long does it take if you get it by mail? That's a great question, Kathy. Um this is really what's interesting, Kathy Weiss, is that if you show a date of March 26, it may show up tomorrow. I've had a lot of viewers who have this March 26 date and got it last Friday, and they got it Saturday. So that's a great question, Kathy Weiss. I haven't seen that question all day long. What a wonderful question. Thank you so much. Um, let's see some more questions. Who is a leprechaun? <laughs> Crayola says, who's a leprechaun? I don't know. Who is the leprechaun? Uh, Shirley, you're a fresh of sun, you're a ray of fresh sunshine every day. Well, I am until sirloin eats the grass. Then I'm not. <laughs> uh, Bancorp. Uh, Hershey 94, Hershey Dark 45. Bancorp nothing. Um, don't worry about Bancorp because Bancorp is Chime and they've been paying since day one. So Bancorp Chime has been really good on this. So don't worry. Um, Wells Fargo, <laughs> I love you, Smith's comment. Wells Fargo rudely said it was March 24th. Ooh, well, <laughs> there we go. There's another round of banks. Guess what? Does this sound familiar? It should sound familiar. We now have Wells Fargo, just breaking right now, Hugh Smith, Wells Fargo, March 24th, right before this. Was it Ira? I forgot his name. I th oh, no, it was Norman. Norman and Norma, uh, March 24th, Chase. Does it sound familiar? It should. Big banks. March 24th. Guess what March 24th is? Seven days after the last big drop. St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. 
Now, now the big drop, March 24th. It's a sound familiar? It is familiar. There's going to be another big drop. It's going to be March 24th. We're starting, I guarantee you, by tomorrow morning, I'm going to have viewers say, you know what? I called up Bank America and they said March 24th. I called up um, City Cor Citibank and they say March 24th. I guarantee you that's what's going to happen next. You're see starting to see, this is how things start to grow really quickly. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, says Janet. Let's see what else. Uh, still nothing yet, says Belinda. I use direct deposit for my SSDI credit credit union. Nothing yet. Give it time. Don't worry. Pair alert. Was there a pair alert? I didn't see a pair. Um, Ella, you're the best. Thank you. Um, Wendy. Direct Express Comerca. When? Direct Express Comerca viewers are getting alerts that it's coming by direct deposit March 24th, and others are getting alerts that it's coming March 26th in the mail. Thank you for your comment. If you don't have a requirement to file a federal return, it takes longer to get your information from SSA. You don't have an active file with IRS. Um, thank you for your comment, Lewis. I don't agree with you, but thank you for your comment. Uh, I'm so insulated, LA. <laughs> <laughs> says Crayola. Why are you in, un, oh, unstimulated? Oh, it, I thought it said insulated. Insulated? I thought you were in the attic or something. In, unstimulated. Um, Crayola, have you not got your stimulus check? Um, super, uh, there is Tina. I think Tina got her stimulus check the first day, if I recall. Um, did not get the alerts by my phone. Oh, maybe I did not send out the alerts. Well, mine goes the fourth stimulus, first stimuli. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Um, <laughs> he just read my comment. I'm happy, says TBG. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, Janet, I have Direct Express card. Nothing yet. Where's my bacon? Uh, Cheryl, Direct Express, nothing. Will we take a break after we get our stimulus? Um, well, some people have already got to their stimulus. They haven't taken a break. <laughs> Uh, coming up is video from the White House that talks about the need for stimulus to land very quickly. I'll be covering that video for you as well. And then the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve has a lot to do with next week. I'll have the preview of what's going on with the markets. And boy, they're going to be very antsy, Nancy. And meantime, what is the push for force stimulus? All that and more as we continue on Afternoons at LA. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time with evenings. LA Light, that will be a big, big broadcast. Make sure you tune into that one. Again, that's 5 on the West Coast, 8 on the East Coast, followed by Hazard Pay 90 minutes later. Meantime, what's going on with Wall Street? Boy, you're going to see turmoil next week as 221 states 
officials now say that they reopened too quickly and that there's a resurgence of the pandemic. This is not one of the equations that Wall Street was looking at. Wall Street likes to know what it's a dealing with ahead of time. And it was only dealing with inflation going into this weekend. The 1.75% treasury, 10-year treasury yield growing, that was enough of a worry for Wall Street. And now they have COVID cases rate rising in 21 states. The Dow is down 234 points in pre-market trading. The S&P down 2.36. NASDAQ's up $99, which is less than 1%. And this is amid the news about what happened out of South Beach. If you've been watching me throughout the day, I've been covering that detail. South Beach is not an anomaly. South Beach was an example of really a bad situation growing where states have reopened and that they had a pandemic of, well, not a pandemic, a riot of young revelers everywhere twerking on lampposts. They thought they were playing in the streets Crayola. They were not. Um, it was out of control, and this is a picture posted by the local police department after they had it under control. But if you're just joining me, let me give you the big update. Congratulations, you're getting a $1,400 third stimulus check next week if you're on direct deposit, direct express, or any other mechanism, and it may be coming in the mail. Yes, that's the big surprise. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a single video of this channel. Also, like this video, and if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple, How, Poc, Purple How, Power Calcino VIP. I may have forgot to, to, to send a message to members of this video, but in the commercial break, one of the viewers said, you know, LA, you can only send three alerts to uh, viewers uh, uh, on YouTube per day. Untrue. That's for non-members. In the case of members, I can send members alerts all throughout the day. And so that's one of the great benefits of membership is that I can send you an alert every time a video goes live. Hopefully I did that with this one. I don't know if I did. <laughs> uh, but hope you are good. I'll be jumping back in the live chat in a second. But if you're just joining me, um, the big banks are now starting to indicate more and more, if you just heard it happening, this recording, you saw it happen, that we've gone from just... Chase, and but now also Wells Fargo, are now alerting consumers of the banks that March 24th is a big drop for stimulus checks. We saw that on the 16th and the 15th before St. Patrick's Day, when viewers were like, why have I not signed, seen my stimulus check? I see Chime has it. And the bank, big bank said, it's coming on March 17th. And it did. It did. This list grew substantially on March 17th. Well, guess what? The list is going to grow again on March 24th. Among the alerts are, of course, the Direct Express card for people on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits. The Direct Express card is giving the alert that it's coming to viewers that use the Direct Express card on March 24th as well. Here's one of the alerts that one of the viewers got. This viewer confirmed the information by calling up Direct Express and got confirmation it is the stimulus check, and it is coming March 24th. What day of the week is March 24th? It is a Wednesday. So we have a lot of excitement upon us. We are far from over. And guess what's also happening? I'm jumping in the live chat. <laughs> so let's see what everyone's chatting about. Let's see what it, uh, if you have some questions, drop them in there right now. I want to see where my stimulus check is, says Crystal. I got alerts and the PDFs. Oh, good. Um, let's see what else. I get every alert you send, Ally. Thank you so much, says Pam. I appreciate that. Uh, I need to st study up on pence testing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, I can't find anything out. I've gotten the third yet. I have direct express card and SSI. So lady in red, yes. So if you are on direct express, direct express consumers that are viewers this channel are getting two things happening to them. First, at irs.gov, it's giving them the alert that the stimulus check is coming in paper check form on the 26th, 27th. Other viewers are getting on IRS an alert that it's coming on the 24th. And other viewers of Direct Express are getting an alert that it's coming into their bank account on the 24th. Thank you for your great comment. Uh, Bank America, MT Weeham. Bank America has been paying viewers this channel starting the 17th. But as I um, joked, but not not joke joked earlier, we've now seen that Wells and Chase are saying March 24th is the big date for the delivery. So that might be happening as well. There's slow leak. I got my first and second 
uh, I got first and second, did the third and third March 26th. What happens? I'm on SSI with Chase. I'm confused. I have a payee, did Chase, but getting check. So if you have a payee, the payee is supposed to get your stimulus check, not you. Um, now, there always is a circumstance of, you know, here and there where it goes to you and it's incorrectly when it's supposed to go to the payee. But if you're Chase and you've not got your stimulus check, we've now had a couple of viewers get the indication it's coming on the 24th. Meantime, the President of the United States had a wonderful, reassuring message to citizens of this country over the weekend that stimulus checks are on their way. Let's hear a little bit about his comment in a second. But first, let me answer some more of your questions. No info on SSI, says Jamie. The first on my bank within hours of release. Chime Bank. I love this bank. So, Jamie, yes, I have Chime SSI consume viewers who got it the very first day it became law, which was eight, nine days ago. Um, the day after it became law, which is nine days ago. Then I had no one, then I had some that still did not get it from Chime, SSI, and that started to appear more on Wednesday. Finally, if you see anyone in the comments, Jamie, who say Bank Corp, which you will say, they've still not gotten from Bank Corp. Bank Corp is Chime. So we do still have some Bank Corp and Chime that still have not gotten it. Let me see some more of your comments. Billy Boy, I did my 2020 and 19 taxes. I was under, what does that say, 20,000. And I was keeping, um, and I keep getting, need more info on the get my payment tool. I use Emerald Card and HR Block. What have I not, why have I not got my stimulus? So Billy Boy, great question. <clears throat> First, the tool may be resulting with no information because of the way in which you're typing your address. It may not recognize the use. So go on some of the tools um, elsewhere on, on websites that will show you the correct way to type your address. It's always the punctuation, the abbreviations, all these variations. you got to do exactly right. Second, <clears throat> don't worry about H&R Block. They've actually been very good. I've had countless viewers get it on um, who have gotten the H&R Block on the Emerald Card or similar. And they started getting it last Monday and they've gotten all throughout the week. So don't worry. Meantime, let's watch President Biden's message about the stimulus check and its arrival. Character and honesty and integrity help save our democracy. And this country will long be grateful for it. But as this state, home to Martin Luther King and John Lewis, knows better than most, the battle for the right to vote is never, ever over. And it's not over here in this state of Georgia. So we're in a fight again. It's a fight we need to win. Because if anyone ever doubted that voting matters, Georgia just proved it did. If anyone ever wondered if one vote can make a difference, Georgia just proved it 11,779 times. And if anyone ever wondered if voting can change a country, Georgia just proved it can. Because when you elected two new United States senators, you made it possible to pass the American Rescue Plan. Landmark legislation will not only meet the emergency we're in, but transform this nation. Starting with this, for those folks who either already have or will soon have $1,400 in their pockets. You can thank Senators Warnock and Ossoff. But for their votes, it would not have happened. What does that mean? It means 85 percent of the households in America will get that money. Here in Georgia, it means 88 percent of all adults and 88 percent of the children in this state will get that $1,400 as well. Just add it up. And there you go. The promise is real that the $1,400 third stimulus check is landing in your bank account or in the mailbox, whether it's Direct Express, whether it's not Direct Express, whether it's into a Direct Express account or it's coming in the mail, 
whether it's on SSI or SSDI or Social Security or railroad benefits, your stimulus check's coming, and it's starting to come next week. March 24th, March 25th, March 26th, March 27th, March 28th. Watch the mail. Go slowly through that mail all next week. It could be in a white envelope. It could be in a beige envelope. It could look like an envelope like this. It could also be a debit card. It may be a blank white envelope just like this from the second stimulus. You don't want to throw away the check. You don't want to miss it, and you don't want to just look in one place. You want to look at all the places. Meantime, I'm going to be looking for you to join me tonight on Evenings LA. And that's at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for your wonderful, wonderful help throughout the weekend, especially today as well. We learned a lot of information because of you, viewers that showed us that, that Chase and that Wells are delivering the deposits on March 24th. We learned about the incredible details about um, what's happening at individual banks, whether it's Direct Express Card, which was provided to me by a viewer. This came from a viewer, not from myself. Um, or across the board. If you have other inside information that you can provide me on social media, send it to me on Twitter or Instagram as well. I appreciate the love, and together as a community, we grow. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. I hope you've had a beautiful day. Let's see if we can do two, three, four thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tonight on Evenings Out of Light.